Also, it's possible to access specific key of the object using variable. Let me remove those three lines. And uh, here before this line, let me declare a new variable using const and let's name it uh, field. And its value will be string friends quantity. And now here on this line, instead of dot notation, I could use square brackets notation. And here inside of square brackets, I could use variable, this variable, like that, field. And if I save changes now, and of course, if I print uh, person underneath, I'll get similar result as before. I have added new key called friends quantity. That's what square bracket notation is usually used for. You could dynamically pass name of the key by using other variable, like we just did in this example. All right, let me remove those lines and let me now show you how you could read all keys of existing object, name and instructor in this example. For that, you could use following syntax, object, dot keys keys is actually method of the object and here as argument we will pass object like that person let's save changes and here now i see array with two elements name and instructor similarly you could access values of all keys using object values method like that let's save changes and now i get bogdan and true that's all about objects and now let's move on to arrays because here you see array. 